this is going to begin the teardown of this engine and uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to make all that fit in there. Uh, this tank will probably, probably end up doing something like that. Then you have more room. I'll get it in there. Make some modifications to that. It'll go. I'll put the new bars on it. That's good. That looks good. Put a thumb throttle. Just like that, in about three seconds, I got that engine out. Um, that's not true. It took a couple hours, probably, and I'm gonna harvest a lot of the pieces off of this thing still. So, and there you have it. I have to get a clutch puller to take that clutch off, but in theory, the output shaft of the motor is tapered. It should fit this belt, which fits this belt, which fits that pulley in there. And this, I checked compression before I pulled it. Both of them are around 115. So this, these top end, you can see through the carb throat that the pistons are like new in there. See that? Yeah, this is a good motor. And uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be rowdy cool. Today isn't really a day I planned on filming but everything sort of worked out to where I have the engine and I really, I want to put it down in there and uh, see alignment with the belt and I just want to see so I can get a picture. Otherwise I won't be able to sleep. I'll be thinking about the thing nonstop and working it out and there's too many questions I don't have the answers for. So let me get that engine right there. Let me take that engine and get it down in there real quick. Point is, good news, is this that I took off of that junk engine. Voila! So you know what that means? That means this engine can now be pushed into position and I can fabricate brackets to bolt to this framework that carries the blade on a belt. And then I can also glass in some rearward mounts so that this giant power plant stays where we put it. I'm excited because we are getting closer and it'll be far enough forward where the fuel tank will go sideways and what I'll do is get a different fuel tank or just turn that one sideways. I'm not sure yet but this was the big hurdling block and the fact that I got that pulley on there that's 80 percent, 90 percent of the battle of swapping motors here. I'm pretty excited about it that's for sure. Pulley lines up the exhaust, we're going to build this exhaust to come out and be mounted externally so that it doesn't block any of the airflow that actually creates lift. There seems to be some speculation as to the location of these blades and uh, I think there's another configuration with this hub that you can move these uh, and I may learn more about that but first I want to get this thing flying and then we'll worry about it. But overall, I mean, I've only had the thing, it's not even been a week. It's probably only been five days. And plus, I had to do some work these last few days, my regular job. But I'd say we're ahead of, this, we're ahead of the curve right now. <laughs> Motor mounts, hoses, the exhaust the oil tank, which I probably won't even use, some of that seat foam, part of this cowling. I might use that switch panel, but that's all I need off this thing. I'm going to start fabricating the brackets and mounts that hold this engine and fan together. What I've done here is mount this frame to the table because no matter how you slice it, the pulley on the engine has to line up with the pulley on that fan. So I'm gonna make this attached to that with a belt on it and some sort of adjustment. Once that happens, I can take this whole rig with the engine and set it in the boat. So I got the first mount tacked into place and so far it seems like I've got enough of a slot in it 
to where I can raise and lower the motor and that will give it belt tension but it should be right where it is this deflection should be perfect for this kind of belt so uh, let's see here it's only one mount but yeah let me just finish this up I think we're gonna be good Looks like a hovercraft to me. An interesting part is the exhaust. Two strokes have to have what's called scavenging in order for the exhaust and intake ports to work right. And um, the length of this and the diameter of this matter, and the engine that was in there has this pipe. Well, I wanna use, I wanna use this portion and this portion, but I need them to be flipped in order for the exhaust to exit where I want. On this vehicle, I want this exhaust to come right here and run on the outside of the fan shroud because it used to run in there. And in there's no good because it blocks some of the lift. That affects speed. Is gonna be getting the exhaust to come out and around and up the side and out the back. That's the goal. I took the pieces that I need. And adapted them and tried to maintain the same distance from here to the beginning of the expansion chamber, which is that. So pipe on. It's good. I got the mounts down. I just have to glass them in on the bottom there. Those motor mounts are in there. They're riveted to the chassis and then they're also welded to the mounts and they are fiberglassed to the hull. All rubber mounted. I went through and replaced all the rivets all the way around it because if this aluminum strip doesn't seal against the hull you get leaks and it reduces lift. That's something I did not know and I'm glad I found out before I put the skirt on. So it's good. I have one tiny, tiny little air leak, like right there. But I might silicone that. This is all dry now. That's ready to come out. This engine can come out. I can flip it over and start making repairs to the bottom. Not sure if you ever seen one of these. This is a, uh, it's an eraser wheel for decals. You get them on Amazon, or online, whatever, 20, 30 bucks. Um, they work real good. It's so much easier than trying to get all the glue off. With all the decals off, I'm ready to flip it over. All right, we're going to see what a wet sand will do to this, and then um, we're going to re-graphic the whole thing. We got the blades all cleaned up, sandblasted the hub to get all the corrosion off that was there, inspect it, it's real good. I still have to do high heat paint on the pipe, not a big deal. Sprayed this up, got that looking halfway decent, not that you'll see much of it anyways. I've got everything test connected. This is on. I'm doing a test fire here in a minute. Spark plugs. I'm going to pull the cable by hand. 
this should, yep, okay, got my tack, I want to see what it's doing before I connect the electronic tack that I have, yeah, we should be ready here, oh yeah. It's about one gallon, which that should be more than enough to do the test fire. I've jumped ahead in this video a little. You'll get to see a better look at the graphics later. I just changed a couple of electrical parts and I got it to run. I'm not sure if it will run again, but I wanted to get the camera and uh, twist the couple wires together. Yeah, I might be loading it up.
like. I don't like these carburetors. They're original to the snowmobile that I harvested all of this from. Those carbs got to go. The slow jets in them, not only are they wrong, um, the inside of the carbs are, are all chewed up. So there's no point in even rebuilding them. I'm just going to replace the carbs. I'll get a crisper throttle response when I do that. Also, I need to mount this properly. Um, there's a couple of hoses that vibrated and got some wear marks on them. I don't like that. Uh, this fuel cover needs to go back down on here and straps, but other than that, it's a success. The thing does not like wet grass. Um, if you get it going on smooth ground and just let it eat, it will pick up speed. It'll just pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh, I didn't do that because as you saw, I'm just driving around in the yard. This thing will go fast if you just lean into it and hard throttle and stay straight on smooth, whatever the surface, it will go fast. Right now, I'm just getting it to move under its own power and not hit anything. When you're in it, the vibrations are crazy. Um, it reaches this weird harmonic where it just kind of smooths out. And when you hit that peak RPM, that's when the craft really starts to move. So it's a win. Um, I got a couple little tweaks to make and then we're going to take it out on the water into some real wide open property and see how fast it will actually go. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.